Hello and welcome back to my RC channel, I'm Andy RC and today I'm taking a look at a really exciting product from FPV Hobby. It's a very early release and I don't have a huge amount of information on it, however if it comes into production it's going to revolutionise micro FPV flyers in my opinion which I am a huge fan of. It is this tiny 1.1 gram circuit board amongst this mess of wires and JST connectors. It's the world's first one cell OSD for micro FPV aircraft. There's a few questions I have myself about the device, but let me tell you what I do know. It accepts two inputs, one displays 3 to 6 volts and the other displays 0 to 6 volts. So far it does not have a built in regulator so the power it inputs is the same as it outputs. As well as two voltage inputs, we have the option for two video outputs, however they both output the same OSD screen. At present there's no way to alter the OSD, so regardless to whether I connect up both voltage inputs, it will show both indicators on the screen. I'm only hooking one up in this example, so the other indicator will show zero volts. It suggests that you can hook up RSSI info to the second voltage, but I don't have much info on that. I would imagine if your VTX has RSSI output or the flight controller, we will be able to hook it up. You could also use it to see the voltage of your VTX, for example regulated voltage, against direct voltage. Another thing you can do is if you want to power your FPV gear with a separate battery, you can feed that through the second voltage of the on-screen display and then you can monitor the voltage of your separate FPV battery as well as the battery connected to the quadcopter. Some of the questions I can't answer is if there will be a way to alter what appears on the OSD. I would imagine if we could, as there's no USB port, we would need to connect an FTDI adapter somehow. I'm also not aware of any software that would allow us to change the information on the OSD. Here is the piece of paper that I have been provided by FPV Hobby that shows all the connections. Let me explain how I've got this connected. As you know, I like to have my FPV gear swappable. This will be made difficult by adding an OSD to the mix, so what I have done is added the OSD to the FPV plate rather than fix it to the aircraft. On the voltage input pins, I have connected a female lossy connector. This is going to connect direct to the battery. Then on the voltage output, I have connected the male lossy connector, which can plug directly into the quadcopter. This means I only have one connector going into the quad, which is pretty neat. The second voltage output I have connected to the input of FPV Hobby's 5V regulator. From the regulator, I have got the 5V output powering the camera and also my VTX. I have also routed the video through here as well, because it means I can feed the video through the video in on the OSD and feed it from the video out to the VTX quite easily. Apologies for the mess of JST connectors, but I'm going to be using this FPV plate as a test rig to swap different components around. I also want the option to bypass the OSD for particular tests, so the connectors allow me to do that as well. The entire FPV plate weighs 11 grams, which is not bad at all. I would say I could get it down to about 9 grams without the extra JST connectors. So I'm going to use my Alien Wii based micro quad as the aircraft but the great thing about keeping everything on the FPV plate means I can switch it to another one of my micros and all I need to do is plug it into the lossy connector and I've got FPV with an OSD. So enough talking about the OSD, let's see how it works in the air. First of all, people might be wondering why we need an OSD on a microcopter. The answer is all to do with the battery. If you didn't know, single cell LiPo batteries can't be discharged lower than 3.3 volts. Below that, and you run into the danger of damaging the battery, and even worse, completely disabling it. Some batteries will not charge after the voltage has dropped too low. Now on bigger quadcopters this is easily combated by adding a low voltage alarm or monitoring the voltage through an OSD. On micro quadcopters weight is your enemy and not only that a voltage alarm needs to be pretty loud as we're only running 3.7 volts. Even if we could design a micro voltage alarm it most likely wouldn't be loud enough for us to hear if flying away from yourself. Now some micro quads such as the Hudson do have a solution for this. First of all they provided flashing LEDs when the voltage got too low. This is fine for flying line of sight but adding FPV not so much. 
I even saw people move their LEDs in front of the camera and then switch off the LEDs from the TX manually. So when the LVC kicks in, we can see the lights flashing through the camera. On the Hubson H107D there was an advancement to this and the quad sent back its voltage to the H107D's transmitter. This was a problem for me though. First of all, I hated the H107D's transmitter. And secondly, if doing FPV with goggles, the information on the TX is useless. Not only that, but I'm now using the Alien Wii flight controller, which has no low voltage warning at all. It just drops out of the sky. So FPV Hobby steps in with this solution. We can view the quadcopter's voltage through the transmitted video from the quadcopter. I don't have much experience with OSD so far, but this is going to change, especially with my 450 build. One thing I can say though is the numbers are really clear. The characters are white with a black surround so you can see them fine even on a white background. The numbers are high up on the screen which I wasn't too fond of at first but I have since realized they are placed quite nicely. You don't have to veer too much away from your flying concentration to know how much battery you have left. The Alien Wii completely cuts out at 3.4 volts, so I know to stop flying before this. Of course, punching the throttle can cause fluctuations in the battery voltage, so the OSD can ensure that we don't go below that threshold. I was concerned about how accurate the voltage reading would be, however I can confirm that it matches the voltage reading on my LiPo balance checker, which is fantastic. So there you go, that is a look at the Micro One Cell on-screen display from FPV Hobby. A really exciting product, I think you will agree. I believe an updated version will be coming out potentially with a voltage regulator built into it and also a wider voltage range for bigger aircraft. Thanks so much for watching. Please continue to subscribe. Cheers.